I'd like to introduce Julia Shopik, author of Honest Medicine from the United States. Welcome, Julia. Hi, Linda. It's so good to be with you today. Thank you. Could you tell us how you got involved in LDM? Well, it actually started many years ago when my husband was a brain tumor patient and his uh, tumor had recurred. So that must have been around 2001. Um, a wonderful friend of mine named Dennis Roth, whose son had a malignant brain tumor just like my husband, called me and said, I've just learned about the most wonderful man, Dr. Bernard Bahari, and he has a wonderful treatment that is terrific for cancer. And he said, I've spoken with him. Please set up a time to speak with him yourself. So I did. And uh, I was so impressed with Dr. Bahari that my husband did start taking LDN. And unfortunately, when he was in the hospital, which was several times, you know, for seizures and all of that, the LDN was taken away. And so we had to stop, start, stop, start. So that wasn't very successful. But I found out about LDN, and I just kept reading and reading. And I was so, so, so impressed. After my husband died, there it's in my book all about how I found that uh, inexpensive treatments worked while some very expensive ones didn't. We had a situation where my husband's skin wouldn't heal. And through a doctor friend, I found the treatment that did work for him. It was called Silver Lawn, and the doctors just weren't interested. They wanted to believe it was their own antibiotics that had made his skin heal. So I knew that something was desperately wrong with our medical system, and I said, I've got to expose this, you know, that inexpensive treatments are being ignored at the expense, you know, in favor of expensive, ineffective treatments. And guess what? I started thinking back to the treatments I had learned about when Tim was sick, one of them being LDN. So that's how I found out about LDN. I then wrote an article for my blog, honestmedicine.com, about four treatments that are effective, time-tested, etc. But the doctors really don't like as much as the expensive, uh, ineffective treatments. And LDN was kind of one of the stars of that article, which then turned into my book. How many people would you estimate around the world are probably taking LDN? You know, it's very, as you know, it's very difficult to, to know, but I always say tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is that LDN has so many, I have never seen a treatment that has so many advocates physicians and patients alike out there. I there were so many advocates that I could I could only mention a few. You, Sammy Joe Wilkinson, Vicky Finlayson, but I was nervous about mentioning everybody because I knew I'd miss some. Mm -hmm. So I would say and I'm I'm confident in saying there are hundreds and hundreds of advocates, which makes me really believe there are tens of thousands of people who are taking it. Yes, certainly the word is spreading for the unusual autoimmune diseases and in far-fetched countries as well, countries that up until now haven't necessarily heard that much about LDN. It's spreading like wildfire and I'm just so impressed with, with LDN. I'm, I'm, you, as you know, there's a new Facebook group that is called God Endorphins LDN and it just started, you know, spreading like wildfire. I was watching at first, there were three of us there, and then there were a hundred. You know, if people want to tell their story, and I'm hoping that as people tell their stories, and through and as my book gets read all around the world, hopefully, people will start telling their doctors, no, I don't want to take these crab drugs, which I'm sure you've mentioned before on this DVD, you know, the expensive injectables that mm -hmm. don't seem to work for people, and they have so many side effects. I hope people will start demanding, you know, okay, doctor, I'm going to be leaving if you won't at least read about this low-dose naltrexone. Because so many people in my book tell about how their doctors just wouldn't even want to learn about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you know, I mean, as we all know, you do need a prescription, which is, is the bad part, because uh, 
they have to go in, in not feeling well to have to go hunting for a doctor is very difficult. Thank you very much for taking part, Julia. Thank you.